As the sun rises, a chili pepper garden awakens, brimming with potential. It's a sight to behold, a symphony of colors that dance in the morning light, from fiery reds to vibrant oranges, and even the deepest purples. The dew-kissed chili peppers glisten as they eagerly reach for the sky. This is more than just a garden, it's a spicy sanctuary, a testament to life's rich flavors and remarkable resilience. Imagine this in your backyard, a spicy oasis waiting to be explored. The journey starts with a single seed, selected carefully with your climate and taste in mind. This choice is fundamental to your chili growing adventure. There's a world of variety out there, from mild bell peppers to the fiery heat of the Carolina Reaper. Each variety has its own requirements for growth and offers a unique flavor profile. Your climate plays a major role in seed selection. Some chilies love the heat of the tropics, while others thrive in cooler, more temperate conditions. Your taste buds also come into play. Do you want a mild, sweet chili or something that packs a powerful punch? Consider growth requirements, too. Some chilies need a long-growing season, while others are quick to fruit. And let's not forget about size. Some plants stay compact, perfect for pots, while others need more space to stretch out. With the right seed, you set the stage for a successful harvest. Now let's move on to the next step, germination. From seed to sprout, the germination process is a miraculous transformation. You see, germination is where the magic begins. It's where a tiny chili seed embarks on its journey to become a fiery, flavorful powerhouse. So how does this process work? Well, it all starts with a good quality soil mix, rich in organic matter. You plant your chosen chili seeds just below the surface, lightly covered with soil. The secret here is to maintain a balance. You want your soil to be moist, but not soaked. Overwatering can drown your seeds, while underwatering can leave them parched. Temperature is another crucial factor. Chili seeds love warmth, so aim for a consistent temperature around 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. If conditions are right, you'll see sprouts poking through the soil in about 7 to 10 days. Remember, germination doesn't happen overnight. It requires patience, but the reward is well worth the wait. With patience and care, your chili seeds will sprout into life. When your seedlings are ready, it's time for their new home. Transplanting is a critical step in the chili growing journey. A moment that signifies the growth and potential of your chili plants. You see, transplanting is more than just moving your chili seedlings from one pot to another. It's an opportunity to give your seedlings the space they need to spread their roots and flourish. It's like moving from a cramped apartment to a spacious house. But timing is everything. The ideal time to transplant your seedlings is when they've developed at least two sets of true leaves. That's when they're strong enough to withstand the move. And conditions? Just right, not too hot, not too cold. A cloudy day is perfect for transplanting. It reduces the stress on the seedlings and gives them a chance to settle in before they face the full strength of the sun. The proper transplanting ensures your chilies have room to grow and thrive. And that's what we want, right? A thriving garden of vibrant, spicy chilies. To flourish, your chili plants need love and attention. Now that you have your chili seedlings transplanted, it's time to dive into the essentials of caring for these fiery wonders. The three key factors to remember are watering, sunlight, and soil. Watering your chili plants isn't just about keeping the soil moist. It's about understanding the needs of your plants and adapting accordingly. In the initial stages, frequent watering helps establish the roots. But as your plants mature, it's best to let the top layer of soil dry out between waterings. This prevents waterlogging and encourages deep root growth. Next on the list is sunlight. Chili plants are sun worshippers and thrive in direct sunlight. Aim for at least six hours of sunlight a day. But remember, every plant is unique. If your chili plant's leaves start to yellow or wilt, it might be a sign they're getting too much sun. Simply move them to a slightly shaded area and they should bounce back in no time. Let's talk about soil. Chili plants prefer well-draining soil with a slightly acidic pH. Adding organic compost or well-rotted manure can enhance your soil's nutrient content. If you're growing chilies in pots, consider using a quality potting mix that's rich in organic matter. Now let's see the magic of proper care. Take a look at these chili plants. On the left, we have plants that have been watered adequately, given plenty of sunlight, and grown in nutrient-rich soil. They are vibrant with lush green leaves and a bounty of colorful chilies. On the right, we have plants that have been neglected. The difference is clear. Remember, your chili plants are living beings. They communicate their needs through their leaves, their growth, and their fruit. Paying attention to these signs and responding to their needs will ensure your plants grow healthy and strong. With consistent
consistent care, your chili plants will reward you with a colorful, spicy harvest. So roll up your sleeves and let's spice up your garden together. Challenges may arise, but effective solutions are at hand. Just like any other plant, chili peppers can also be a target for pests and diseases. Aphids, white flies, and spider mites are common pests that love to feast on your chili plants. They can damage the leaves and stunt growth, but don't worry, there are ways to combat these invaders. Organic pesticides are a gardener's best friend. Made from naturally occurring substances, they are safe for the environment and your plants. Diseases such as leaf spot and powdery mildew can also attack your chilies. These can be identified by spots or white powdery residue on the leaves. Again, organic fungicides can help control these diseases. Regular inspection of your plants can catch these problems early, preventing them from spreading and causing further damage. With proactive management, your chili plants can stay healthy and productive. The moment we've been waiting for, harvest time. It's a joyous occasion when you can finally pluck the fruits of your labor from their stems. The ripe chilies, full of vibrant colors and fiery flavors, are ready to spice up your meals and your life. The process of harvesting is simple yet immensely satisfying. You'll know your chilies are ripe when they have reached their full color and the skin is slightly wrinkled. Simply hold the stem firmly and gently twist the chili until it comes off. Be sure not to tug too hard as you don't want to damage the plant or the fruit. Remember, patience is key. Some chilies may take a little longer to fully ripen, so don't rush the process. Allow each chili its own time to reach peak flavor and heat. Harvesting your chilies is the culmination of your hard work and dedication. It's the spicy reward for your patience, care, and green thumb. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. You've earned it. From the garden to the table, your chilies are ready to spice up your meals. But what if you've harvested a bumper crop? Well, preserving your chilies means you can enjoy the fruits of your labor all year round. One popular method is drying. Just string up your chilies in a warm, dry place and let nature do its work. In a few weeks, you'll have dried chilies ready to be crushed into flakes or powder, perfect for adding a dash of heat to any dish. Another method is pickling. By immersing chilies in vinegar, you not only preserve them, but also add a tangy flavor that's great in salads and sandwiches. Now imagine whipping up a dish with chilies you've grown and preserved yourself. The satisfaction is just as intense as the spice. With these preservation techniques, you can enjoy your homegrown chilies all year round. From seed to table, we've journeyed together in the world of chili gardening. We started by selecting the perfect chili seeds, keeping in mind the climate and our taste preferences. Then we nurtured the seeds through the germination process, gently transferring our baby chilies to their new homes in larger pots or garden beds. We've learned how to care for our chili plants, providing them with the right amount of sunlight, water, and nutrient-rich soil. We've also discussed how to tackle common pests and diseases to keep our plants healthy and thriving. And who can forget the joy of harvesting our very own chilies, ripe and ready to spice up our meals. We've also explored different ways to preserve our harvest, from drying to pickling, ensuring we have a steady supply of homegrown chilies for our culinary creations. Now it's your turn to share your chili gardening stories. Thank you for joining us in this fiery adventure. Remember, a little heat can transform your garden and your kitchen. Happy gardening!